everyone, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Actions and on this video tutorial we're going to take a look at a couple of actions from the Botanical Blends collection and show you how you can use basically two actions and really only one to get a really nice complete rich edit, a very colorful deep edit and the actions that we'll look at are called spicy and then we're going to give a little bit of softness with buttery blur and then I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can add just a few of the tones or a combination of the tones from the botanical blends to finish off the picture and give it a little bit of a tonal change for some dramatic artistic effect. So um, what you're seeing here is an edited version that we'll be recreating and this is with spicy and buttery blur only. And so here's where this picture began straight out of camera. And here's where it is after playing just those two actions. And then I'm just going to click these on and off quickly at the beginning so you can kind of see how things change. If we add the action tone called cinnamon, we get a nice warmth. And anytime you add something called cinnamon, um, there's one called brown sugar that's in the Creative Heart set, um, even walnut. These are actions that are going to make your blues feel intense and beautiful. It's going to make your greens really pop. So let's click that cinnamon on and off again. And you'll see how those blues and those greens and those rust colors really pop out when you play an action like that. Um, here's with rhubarb. And this is at 48%. So rhubarb, if we take that down again, there's our original. And as we inch it up, let's go pretty far here to 100 you can really see that red tone that comes in that kind of vintage tone on the edges um, that's not a pretty look in my mind but somewhere around the 45 50 percent that's kind of a fun sort of look there so again without rhubarb and with then I played willow and this gives just a nice kind of um, matte haze to the picture. It just dulls down the color a little bit and adds like a little creaminess. And in Willow, if I open it up, you'll see that I turn the Willow Mist layer off. The eyeball is off. There's with that layer on. So you can kind of see the customization that happens there. And then let's look at Sweet Bay. That's just another one. This is a low opacity now of 21%. This is just kind of, um, if we amp it up, you can kind of see the color tones that are associated with Sweet Bay. So you can kind of adjust that and add that in to taste. So let's start at the beginning. We want to use the action spicy to create all of this richness and the buttery blur, if I click this on and off, you're going to see that it takes it from a very crisp edit with lots of sharpness and clarity associated to a very um, soft um, sort of look. So starting here now, let's go back to the beginning and I'll just delete these layers and we'll start with spicy again these are in the botanical blends set and I'm going to hit play on spicy and I just want to show you that when I create these actions I think about it in terms of um, an action like this spicy and an action like dull to dazzling or bland to brilliant those are in the creative heart sets I include layers in here that you can totally customize. Everything's kind of there at your disposal to get a complete edit, but you need to make the adjustments necessary. So let's pull this out just a little bit so we can see. So this is how Spicy runs normally, and that's not what we just saw a moment ago with that deep rich color. So let's see how we can customize this out. First things first is you see there's a clarity um, layer here so that gives us the sharpness if you don't want sharpness in the picture go ahead and take that off or if there's areas of the picture that you don't want sharp use this layer mask and paint over with a black brush on the areas that you don't want to have the clarity you don't want that sharp crispness in spicy boost this is um, just an overall kind of contrast boost into the picture and what I see as I click it on and off is I lose some of the detail in his eyes. So I'm going to zoom in to his eyes here. And we will go ahead and take the spicy boost layer. And I'm going to get black brush, about 30% opacity brush. And I'm going to remove some of the spicy boost just from the eyes here so we can see the color. And we don't lose too much detail. And let's zoom that back out. Now we go back to the Spice Dark, 
And so if we click this on and off, you can see it's a real minor adjustment that's set at the preset. But what we want to do is go ahead and just amp this all the way up so it's 100% dark. Scoot my screen over a little bit. And we want to then remove it off of the face because we're using it to intensify the dark background. So let's take this with a brush of about 40% opacity and just begin to remove this off the eyes. And then I'll drop that opacity down to about 30 and just kind of spring it over his face just a little bit so that uh, we remove some of that darkness. Then the next layer is a spice boost layer. Now this is going to give the spice color boost, I'm sorry. So this is going to intensify the color. Now you'll notice that the blending mode is set to soft light and I'm going to switch that out. First of all I'm going to make it multiply which is going to darken everything and we're going to take the opacity totally up to 100%. So you'll see that made a big big difference. We're here's without the spice color boost and here's with. So this is, uh, again, going to give us that deep richness in the greens and then the blue behind him and obviously a shirt, but this is not working for his skin. So I'm going to take my brush again and 20% opacity and just begin to slowly remove it from his skin. And I'll amp that brush up to 30. I like to use low opacity brushes and just build up my strokes. I think it works a lot better that way. Um, you have a lot more control over kind of where you're brushing it in and brushing it out. So now that I've removed some of that off of his skin, what we're going to do is duplicate this layer. And I'm just going to hit Command or Control J and it'll do it again. We are going to switch this time, this blending mode from Multiply just to Normal. And so let's click this on and off so you'll see this new layer has given me an intense color in the picture. So if there's anywhere that I want to take this color down, I'm just going to take my black brush again and run it maybe over some of these orange spots that caught the sunshine behind. And if there's any other place that we want to take this color down, maybe in his ear, if it happened to be on his ear at all from not masking enough in the previous mask. So there we go. We've got two spice colors now. We've got the uh, color boost and we've got the color boost copy and we're going to move on to the Spice Brighter. So the Spice Brighter, you can just see, it's only set up to be at 20% opacity, so if we want to go ahead and take the brightness down, we can do that there. Um, I think I'm going to leave it on his face, because I like the coloring that's giving his face, but I'm just going to remove this with a high opacity, 90% opacity brush just off the edges, so we get the ledges even a little bit darker. So there we go, there's one action played, uh, spicy, just customize a little, and we go from this to this. So I want to add the softness in now, and one of the actions I love from the Botanical Blends is called Buttery Blur. So I'm going to play that right now, and hit play. And Buttery Blur has three adjustable layers inside of it. There's a light blue blur, a boosted blur, and a rich blur, and you can go in and um, adjust those however you see fit. So let me just amp these up so you can kind of see if we amp up the light blur, we get that. If we do the boosted blur, we're going to get a really soft, rich color, insanely rich color. And the rich blur is going to kind of make it deeper and darker. So I'm going to leave these presets as they are, but what I want to do is uh, remove this blur off of his eyes. I mean, the name implies that there's blur, so we don't want blurry eyes. We want sharp, sharp eyes. So I'm just, again, using that layer mask that's attached to the buttery blur and just removing this effect off of his eyes and then maybe with a low opacity brush just a little bit off of his skin so he doesn't get that baby smooth skin since he is a male. We can go ahead and leave him kind of texturized like a, a guy should be. So there you go. There's the um, full edit. Very uh, big transformation from this original to this. And remember, it's, like I said, spicy from the Botanical Blends, um, lavish. Any of the ones that are in the um, Creative Heart set that are in the rich sec, or I'm sorry, the simple section, so Blind and Brilliant, Dull to Dazzling, and Lavish, these are all actions that 
um, have multiple layers in them, kind of start to finish layers, you just need to go in and adjust the layers. Rather than playing action for a light, and action for contrast, and action for darkening, action for intensify the color, these are all uh, inside of this one action, you just need to go into the layers and adjust them. So that's what we did with Spicy. And the only layer that we duplicated and changed up a lot was the Spicy Color Boost layer. Duplicating it, changing it to Multiply, changing it to Normal, and then just making use of the um, darkening it, and um, that was pretty much it. So now that we have these two actions run and we've got a pretty intense colored photograph, let's just finish it off. And again, one of the ones we played before was Cinnamon, and this is just a tone. And when Cinnamon plays, I love what it does to blues and greens. So I'm going to take this opacity of it down just a little bit, from 60 to maybe about 40. And then I'm going to remove it off of this skin here. So I've got my black brush, and there we go start to just take some of this off of his skin, off of his hair, so he's not quite as orange, and that cinnamon's kind of gone from there. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and play Willow over the top of it. It's another one of my favorites. Hit play. We'll combine these two together. And drop that opacity down to maybe somewhere around oh 10% something pretty low and there you go let's go ahead and look at the beginning one and two and all we did was play four actions and customize I hope you found that helpful uh, for more information on the botanical blends actions or any of my actions visit the website michellecamephotography.com Thanks for watching everyone and have a blessed day.